You know, I bought this bark off thing hoping that it would help my dog from barking and yeah, it doesn't work. So if you have a dog that constantly barks like mine and you're thinking about getting the bark off, it didn't work for me. It might work for you. I don't know, but I, it didn't work for me and it's really annoying. So anyway, the browsing. Hopefully I'm not like blinding you. It comes with like the gel cream portion and then the shadow which is right there and it comes with two different brushes and a little pair of tweezers so those came together and I think for both of these it was like $29 which is not bad because this alone cost I think like 36 or 38 and then at Claire's they were doing like 10 for 10 or 50% off their clearance. So I did the 10 for 10. Um, me and my friend each got like five or six things. So I got these cute little leopard print earrings. And these were originally $8. And then, sorry if I'm making a lot of noise. Then I got these hair bows, well, flowers for your hair. I got it in the zebra, leopard, and a red polka duck. And then the let oh, and then I got these cute little bows. It's like a champagne color and then it's got the little studs on one of them. Now, I got this palette and it was supposed to be like three something, but the lady said since it's banged up, she gave it to me for a dollar. It's kind of like the knockoff of Urban Decay's Book of Shadows, but it's like monkeys. <laughs> I thought it was really cute. It comes with a mirror too. And then you get all these shadows. And it came with a lip gloss and two brushes that I didn't like at all, so I threw them out. And these colors are really pigmented. Here's just one swipe. That's the green one in the corner. And then here's the blue one. And here's the purple. That's a pretty purple color. So, not bad for a dollar. So I got that. I'm running out of room here. Sorry, I gotta figure out where to put all this stuff. I went a little crazy. Should have like... Okay. So, then the... No, this isn't the last stop. <laughs> um, I told myself I wasn't going to get anything from the MAC collection. And I always tell myself that. And I end up buying stuff. And I keep on saying and. I got three items. The Sweet and Punchy was the first one. Green packaging. And it's a beautiful light green lime color with a gold undertone. And it's a Velux Pearl. So, so pretty. Then the next one was Firecracker. I was watching reviews and... Some people were saying it was like a red with an orange undertone. Unless I'm colorblind, this looks like a dark coral to me. It doesn't look red and it doesn't look orange at all. Let me go ahead and swatch it. It's like a coral. It, if you have the um, coral crepe paint pot, that would be a perfect base for that. I didn't swatch Sweet and Punchy. There it is. It's gorgeous. And I was trying to tell myself, there's dupes out there. There are dupes. And I even looked at the other MAC eyeshadows. Nothing compares. I did Juxt. Uh, I can't even remember the other greens they had. They had like Kelly Green, I think, that became part of the permanent collection. But yeah, I couldn't find it. And even... In my other sh shadows that I have, because I have a lot, I couldn't find colors like that. Then, 
I didn't get the marine powder. Everybody was like really hyped about that and so was I until I found out that it was just an overspray and I was devastated because I'm like I already have coral and pink blushes so I mean I got it because I thought that the whole horse was going to be gold so that way I can actually use it as a highlight but no. Then the last one I got was Beach Bound Lipstick. And this lipstick reminds me of um, the Muchness lipstick from the Alice in Wonderland palette. And it's gorgeous. Let me see. And this is a glaze so it's not that pigmented. But it just gives your lips like this dual chrome look it's like peach and gold so very very pretty and that's all I got from MAC and then the last stop really the last stop was Ulta yes Ulta and I got items there. I got the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch SPF Lotion in SPF 30. And this was from the dollar store but um, it's the Queen Helene Oatmeal and Honey Facial Scrub. My friend is has been raving about it so I thought I'd get it. And it's just an exfoliator. I'm really bad. And I really don't exfoliate my face because it's really sensitive. I'm dropping stuff all over the place. I'll get that later. And my face is really sensitive, so anything that I put on it, it breaks me out. Then I got um, China Glazes Flip Flop Fantasy um, Nail Polish. It's just like a really intense neon pink. And everybody was buying this. I'm like, oh my god, this is gorgeous. So I got it. And I'm going to go ahead and put the link below because you can get a free Nicole by OPI nail polish. If you already have the 17, I think it's June, July issue, there's a coupon in there to get a free nail polish. If not, I'll put the link because you can find it online and print it up. And I got Respect the World. And it's like a teal color that has a purple undertone to it. And it's shimmery. It's beautiful. So I got that. 